Welcome back everyone. Having previously set up the effect on the Fusion page, we can now save it as a macro, dot settings, file and make it available to use in the edit page. Select all the nodes that make this effect, apart from the media in and media out nodes. Tip, when you select the nodes, do so in the order that you want parameters from each node displayed in the inspector. In this case I wanted the zoom animation controls first, then position and size of the circle, border width, color, and then background strength of the gray background. To do this I selected the nodes in the following order, transform, ellipse 1, ellipse 2, circle color, gray background. Ensure that you also select the merge nodes as well. Now right click on any of the selected nodes and select macro and then create macro. In the dialog that appears, change the name to Highlighter Tool, or another appropriate name. In Anim Curve, after Transform, ensure that you select Ease In and Out, Rename to Animation Type, and Scale, Rename to Zoom Amount. This helps identify the purpose of the control when you view it in the inspector on the edit page. In Ellipse 1, under Controls, select Center, Width and Height. Then change the names from Center to Circle Position, Width to Circle Width and Height to Circle Height. This will allow you to control the location of the circle and size. And because we have previously published and connected the pivot, the area of where to zoom, this is the only set of controls required to move the highlighting circle and its zoom focus, the pivot point. In Ellipse 2, under Controls, select Border Width and rename it to Circle Border Width. In Circle Color select Top Left Red, Top Left Green, Top Left Blue, this will allow you to change the color of the highlighting ring. Change the names to Circle Color, Green and Blue. In Anim Curve associated with Gray Background, under Controls, select Scale and then change the name to Background Strength. This will allow you to control how gray you want the background. Go to the top and save as Highlighter Tool. This will create a dot settings file within your DaVinci Resolve file's default location. I have put the path you will usually find these files in the description and on screen. Typically, this newly created settings file will appear within the effects library on the Fusion page, but will not appear by default in the edit page. To make this available in the edit page you simply need to copy this new macro file, referred to as a .settings file, to the appropriate location within the DaVinci Resolve program files and then restart DaVinci Resolve. The location you need for this is in the description for macOS, Windows and Linux users. Tip, if you want to stay organized you can also create your own subfolders within the paths provided in the description these will be replicated in the effects library. Using the tool. Drag a clip onto your timeline, then go to effects in the effect library and drag and drop the effect onto the clip. With the clip selected on your timeline go to the inspector and then to the effects tab. Here you will find your tool effect. You will now see all the controls that you wanted to appear. Animation type will affect the animation of the zoom. Zoom amount affects how much to zoom in. Circle position, width and height hopefully are obvious. Circle border width is how thick the line of the circle is. Circle color to change the circle color and then the strength of the graying out of the background. Additionally, under the viewer there is a set of overlay functions you can add to the viewer. Since this is a fusion effect, simply click the down arrow as shown and from the drop down select fusion overlay. This will display overlay controls on the viewer so you can resize the circle and move its position. Finally, I have created this tool and have placed it on my KOFI page for free download if you don't want to set this up yourself. Link in the description. Remember please subscribe for more. I hope this was helpful, and also just gave some insight into how you can make your own tools for DaVinci Resolve. Thank you and please subscribe.